season. Man, that was a uh, wild Sunday night affair, and that's how we kick off our number two of our Week 5 edition of NFL Game Day Morning. I am Rich Eisen, along with three guys who would prefer not to talk about the fact that they were most concerned about me lone wolfing both the Saints and the Eagles uh, last week. We'll place that personal <laughs> stuff aside and kid, coach. hit the professionalism right here with a topic bar after we let you know about what's coming up here on the show. Let's roll through all of that to get to the topic bar. Otherwise, I'll keep tap dancing about my lone wolfing. We don't care. <laughs> don't care. More concerning don't loss care. last week. Oh, gosh. Guys going full, full cutler right now. <laughs> Never go full cutler, guys. I'll be, I'm will be. i just going to warn you straight up. The Packers or Cowboys? More concerning loss from last week. Michael Irvin, you're first. You can't hear. Uh, I want to cry about the loss, but you're making me laugh with this long wolf stuff. Let me tell you something. It's not even a close look at this. <clears throat> we'll tell you. It's definitely the Cowboys because what we do here, we don't just see what happened. We see how it happened and the way the Cowboys lost was they got their strength attack. The strongest part of this team is the offensive line and that's exactly what got beat down up in uh, New, New Orleans last week. He could not run the ball. We knew as great as Dak looked early on in the season that, that sooner or later that would come back to the fold. But what we did not know was that this run, this run game would not get going. Zeke only had 35 yards last week, man. They got to get that on track this week. So definitely for me, the Dallas Cowboys. To me, Mike, I'm concerned about the Packers loss. And you and I were both there for Thursday night football. Wow. Everybody picked the Packers. You got to be out of your mind to pick the Eagles on a night like that, right? Rich? Or, or and absurdly so, accurate. Because the, the, the Packers were undefeated, confident, healthy, at home. Everything was going for them. And here comes the Eagles limping in there with about eight guys hurt, right? And nobody in their right mind would, would think that they could do that. And you know what? They ran the ball right down the Packers' throat. There wasn't a weakness with this undefeated Packer team until, oh, yeah, they can't stop the run. So when you can't stop the run, you, what are you going to do? You're going to start adding people to the box? I mean, it's hard to add players. It's And right now, the Dallas Cowboys can run the football. A lot of teams can run the football. I'm concerned about the Packers' run defense. Yeah, and I'm, with both, I'm concerned with both of them. And it really was about the nature of how they lost. Because coming yeah. into last week, if you asked anybody, what are the strengths of these two teams? Up to this point in the season, it was the Green Bay Packers defense. Everybody talking about the defense and the Smith brothers and what kind of change they've had there. And then, as you said, Mooch, bang, just run down their throat. They, there were huge, huge <laughs> holes in that game that Rich could have ran through. Uh -huh. Yeah, Rich could have ran through those. Uh -huh. and, and, and then I looked at the Very Dallas slowly. Cowboys. But then I looked at the Dallas Cowboys, and I said the same thing. I'm like, the strength of their team is their offensive line. Now. Always has been. Right. I know Dak's been playing great. We talk about Zeke over the years. But it's the offensive line. And they were dominated, dominated. in the offensive yes. line. And I know you can say, well, Tyron Smith went out with the ink. It was interior, Michael, that it was right. time and time again, pass game, run game. They were getting dominated in their offensive front. So I'm concerned about both teams because you said, these are our strengths. And then they were exposed in those areas of strength. So I can't wait to watch it today. You got what, again, is considered the strength of the Dallas Cowboys right. against what was considered the strength of the Green Bay Packers. Going head to head, it's going to be a great matchup. But, but some guys with the Cowboys are banged up yes, in, in, in that strength, you know, and it, with, without Tyron Smith. And, 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 and I'm concerned about how this thing plays out. I, it, Dallas cannot get into, you know, a, 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 a passing game. Uh, contest with Aaron Rodgers. He's too great, and you got those Smith brothers coming off the edge. They will have to get back to running the football. Well, I'm just most concerned about your losses, and you're being <laughs> exposed as well. So you guys just, you know, hang tight. We'll just see how it all works out <laughs> later on. Mason Rudolph, everybody. Mason Rudolph.